SpaceX was recently awarded a $2.98 billion contract by NASA to build a spacecraft that will bring astronauts to the moon as early as 2024. Other companies bidding for this contract were Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, and defense contractor Dynetics Inc. But SpaceX was picked by NASA for this project over these other companies. The bid by Elon's company was the lowest by a wide margin. In this video, we're going to be discussing why SpaceX was chosen for this big task and why Blue Origin has suspended the awarding of the NASA contract to SpaceX. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed, and I'll personally respond to your comments. In April 2020, NASA awarded three companies contracts to build spacecraft capable of landing humans on the moon, setting off a race that NASA hoped would put the United States back on the moon for the first time since 1972. The three companies were SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Dynetics. Boeing, usually among NASA's key contractors, but whose space program has experienced multiple setbacks and delays, also submitted a bid, but that was not selected. NASA declined to comment on why Boeing was not selected. Elon Musk's SpaceX was selected by NASA on the 16th of April 2021 to build spacecraft that would land astronauts on the moon for the first time since the last Apollo mission. In a competition against Blue Origin and LADAR's subsidiary Dynetics, the $2.89 billion for NASA's human landing system program was awarded to SpaceX. The HLS program is focused on building a lunar lander that can carry astronauts to the moon's surface under NASA's new mission dubbed Artemis. After the twin sister of Apollo, Artemis is a program that's actually designed to return astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. NASA's powerful space launch system rocket will launch four astronauts aboard the Orion spacecraft for their multi-day journey to lunar orbit. There, two crew members will transfer to the SpaceX Human Landing System (HLS) for the final landing leg of their journey to the surface of the moon. After approximately a week exploring the surface, they will then board the lander for their short trip back to orbit, where they will then return to Orion and their colleagues before heading back to Earth. The award to SpaceX was a stunning announcement that marked another victory against the excellent company that solidifies it as one of NASA's most trusted partners. Recently, SpaceX's main business has been launching satellites for Musk's Starlink internet venture and other satellites and space cargo, but now they will be part of history by providing the first commercial human lander. NASA said in a news release that SpaceX's HLS Starship leans on the company's tested Raptor engines and flight heritage of the Falcon and Dragon vehicles. As the first human lander in history, as the first human lander in 50 years, this innovative human landing system will be a hallmark in space exploration history, Lisa Watson Morgan, NASA's Lunar Lander Program Manager said during a news briefing announcing the award. NASA's Apollo program captured the world's attention, demonstrated the power of America's vision and technology and can-do spirit and we expect Artemis will similarly inspire great achievements, innovation, and scientific discoveries. We're confident in NASA's partnership with SpaceX to help us achieve the Artemis mission. We should accomplish the next landing as soon as possible, Steve Jerzyk, NASA's acting administrator said during a video conference of the announcement. If they hit their milestones, we'll have a shot at 2024, he added. The intention is that SpaceX's Starship structure is intended to be a fully reusable launch and landing system for travel to Mars, the Moon, and other destinations in space. After the announcement, Musk tweeted, NASA rules. SpaceX also tweeted out, writing, We are humbled to help NASA Artemis usher in a new era of human space exploration. Unlike the Apollo missions, NASA is getting ready to be on the Moon for a much longer time. The agency sees this new mission as the forerunner to the more ambitious plans to send astronauts to Mars. NASA now relies on private companies built around shared visions for space exploration. Blue Origin was not too pleased with NASA's decision. This was a setback for Bezos, an earnest space enthusiast who has now devoted more time to his space venture after having announced in February he would be stepping down as Amazon CEO. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin filed a protest with the Government Accountability Office against NASA on the 26th of April, challenging the space agency's award of the nearly $3 billion moon lander contracts to Elon Musk's SpaceX earlier this month. It was expected that NASA was going to work on this project with two companies out of the three bids for the contract, but instead, SpaceX was the only one picked. This was a surprise 
as the agency's initial goals were for the program to continue as a competition. The New York Times first reported Blue Origin's GAO protest. In a statement to CNBC, Blue Origin denounced the award as flawed stating that NASA moved the goalposts at the last minute. Getting this contract was very important to Blue Origin in establishing itself as a desired partner for NASA, and also for turning a profit. In NASA's own words, it has made a high-risk selection. The decision eliminates opportunities for competition, significantly narrows the supply base, and not only delays but also endangers America's return to the moon. Because of that, we filed a protest with the GAO, Blue Origin stated. In failing to maintain two sources, NASA's selection decision creates a number of issues for the HLS program and puts all of NASA's eggs in one basket, Blue Origin wrote in a protest filing. In a document explaining NASA's rationale for picking SpaceX, obtained by the Washington Post, NASA also said that it wanted to preserve a competitive environment at this stage of the HLS program. But it added that NASA's current fiscal year budget did not support even a single award. As a result, SpaceX updated its payment schedule so that it now fits within NASA's current budget. Blue Origin also stated that they were not given opportunity to revise their bid as SpaceX was. Blue Origin was plainly prejudiced by the agency's failure to communicate this change in requirements. The protest also stated that, by not giving the company an opportunity to revise its proposal, Blue Origin could have and would have taken several actions to revise its proposed approach reduce its prices to more closely align with funding available to the agency and all proposed schedule alternatives, if given the opportunity by NASA. Blue Origin revealed that NASA evaluated the company's HLS proposal to cost $5.99 billion, or roughly twice that of SpaceX. The company argued in its protest filing that NASA's cost for funding both proposals would have been under $9 billion or near how much the agency spent for SpaceX and Boeing to develop competing astronaut capsules under the Commercial Crew program. In failing to maintain two sources, NASA's selection decision creates a number of issues for the HLS program and puts all of NASA's eggs in one basket, Blue Origin wrote in the protest. Blue Origin based its protest around five objections. First, Bezos Company and NASA did not give SpaceX competitors an opportunity to meaningfully compete after the agency's requirements changed due to its undisclosed perceived shortfall of funding for the HLS program. Second and third, Blue Origin and NASA's acquisition was flawed under the agency's acquisition rules, and its evaluation of the company's proposal unreasonable. Fourthly, the company asserted that NASA improperly and disparately evaluated SpaceX's proposal. And finally, Blue Origin said that NASA's evaluation of the proposal changed the weight it gave to key criteria making the price the most important factor because of perceived funding limitations. The company highlighted work done to develop its lunar lander, including an undisclosed amount of its own investigation and investment into the BE-7 rocket engine that it planned to use for the spacecraft. Blue Origin's substantial commercial investment in the BE-7 engine program is direct evidence of its corporate commitment in lunar exploration, the company wrote in the GAO protest. Dynetics, who also filed a protest on the 26th of April with the Government Accountability Office over NASA's decision to make a single HLS Option A award to SpaceX, argued NASA chose the most anti-competitive and high-risk option available when it decided to proceed with a single award despite receiving only about one-fourth of the $3.3 billion it requested for the program in the fiscal year 2021. NASA spokesperson Monica Witt said on April 30th, that because of the protests, NASA instructed SpaceX that progress on the HLS contract has been suspended until GAO resolves all outstanding litigation related to this procurement. But in moving ahead with SpaceX alone, it sent a message that it fully trusts the growing company to fly its astronauts for its signature human exploration program, Artemis, a campaign to return astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. As the first human lunar lander in 50 years, this innovative human landing system will be the hallmark in space exploration history, Lisa Watson Morgan, NASA's Lunar Lander Program Manager said during a news briefing announcing the award. NASA's Apollo program captured the world's attention, demonstrated the power of America's vision and technology, and can-do spirit, and we expect Artemis will similarly inspire great achievements, innovation, and scientific discoveries. We're confident in NASA's partnership with SpaceX to help us achieve the Artemis mission. What does this mean for Elon and SpaceX? Do you think it will reduce how much the company can do or increase their productivity? 
Tell us what you think in the comments section below. And thank you for watching this video. Want more awesome content? Click on any of the videos currently showing on your screen. See you there.